Hey guys, this is Ben, and I'd like to let you in on some exciting news here at Yonza Labs. We've decided to spin up a new business unit dedicated to the promotion and protection of the unsung hero of the Wild Kingdom, the Lemur. We're calling it the World of Lemurs. Now, we're very excited about this, but unfortunately, nobody at Yonza Labs knows anything about lemurs, so we've hired a new resident expert, Elizabeth, to come on board and help us out. Now, what we'd like to do is create a portal page in Service Portal for this new venture, the world of lemurs, and we want to let Elizabeth manage that page and all the content in it. Now, up until now, that hasn't really been possible, but fortunately, one thing we do know about at Yonza Labs is web design and service portal. So we've created some new tools that will enable us to build this portal page full of content about lemurs and hand that over to Elizabeth and let her manage that moving forward. Let's go ahead and start this page up and show you these new tools we built to make this possible. So we'll come right here to the service portal designer and let's click on the designer and create a new page. So we'll click add new page and we'll call this world of lemurs. We'll submit that. And I kind of want this page to look like something from Wikipedia. So I'm going to build a few containers and build it out. Now, first of all, I'm going to put one container up top that's going to hold a small banner. That's going to be an alert to lemur admins like Elizabeth. Second, I want another container, and this is going to be a content container with some text content on the left and then like an information bar on the right with some quick facts. And then at the bottom, I'd like to also put just a little place for citations on where the information on the site comes from. Gives us three. You know what? Actually, I'd also like to toss here in the middle just a banner, something attention getting for the top of the page. All right, so we got four different containers. Let's go start adding some widgets. And now if we look under widgets under YDS managed, you'll see a new group of widgets that we've just added to the Yonza design system. One is a call out. We'll see what these look like in a moment. I'm just gonna drag them over here. So there's the call out. Let's do a managed jumbotron here in the second one. Now down here, we understand this is just gonna be HTML content. So let's drag over just the YDS managed content. For my list of quick facts, I believe I'll use a bootstrap panel. So I have a YDS managed panel, drag that right over. And then finally at the very bottom, I'm just going to use a well to put my citation information. And so quickly we can see we have a call out up top. We have a jumbotron, it's just some text content, a panel and a well. That's the basis for our page. So now that we have that, let's go ahead and pop that out into its own page and see what it looks like. So already we see the format of this thing and the different types of components that are there. We'll understand that up at the top of each one of these, we have a little pencil icon that allows us to edit it. So let me go ahead. I have some initial content for this page. So let me go ahead and fill this page up with some lemur content just to get us started before we hand this off to Elizabeth. Okay, so this is already starting to look pretty good. We now have a page with our initial content around lemurs. We have some content over here just with text and a nice picture of one of our resident lemurs. Some lemur facts on the right, a little citation here on the bottom, and our nice big jumbotron and an alert up here. Now we want to change this up to enable Elizabeth, our lemur admin, to now manage some of this content. Now this up top, we don't need Elizabeth to manage this. This is just for her to see her only to see, and then for us to manage. So there for edit roles, we have our YDS admin, which is me. That'll stay as our edit role. For our view role, let's change it to just lemur admin. We don't want our end users to see this, just the administrators. And then we can come down through each one of these additional areas of content. These we want Elizabeth to be able to, to, be able to manage or any other lemur admin that we may add to the team. So let's just change the edit roles on all of these to lemur admin. View roles will leave blank. That means anybody can see it. So all of our end users that come to our portal page can see this. Okay, so the permissions on all of these content blocks have been set and I think we're in good shape. So first of all, let's go over here and let's impersonate Joe employee just to see what this looks like to our end users. 
So now we're logged in as Joe, let's just refresh the page. And what we'll find is that our lemur admin banner up top is now gone. All of the edit buttons are now gone. We just have a simple end user portal, nice and clean. It's a place we can come and learn about lemurs, which is exactly what we want. Great. Now let's impersonate Elizabeth and see what it looks like from her end. Now as Elizabeth, let's refresh and we'll see that we now see the alert up here that tells us what to do as a lemur admin and we have little edit boxes on each of these that we can then change. So as Elizabeth wants to add or change the content on this page, all she needs to do is click the pencil icon, come in, and she can change this to whatever she likes. Like the land of lemuria. Save that and instantly she'll see that represented here on the page and that's changed for all end users now. So essentially we've delegated out the administration of all the content on this page to people that know what needs to go here. And it's no longer just the responsibility of the ServiceNow admins to manage this. So that's great, but let's take a next step. We don't want just our English speaking viewers to be able to see and enjoy our World of Lemurs page. We also want our global users to be able to see this. The problem is we don't actually speak any other languages. Um, fortunately, Elizabeth has a French cousin, Pierre, who is willing to translate this into French for us so that all of our viewers in France can also enjoy this. Let's go and impersonate Pierre to see what it looks like for him. So now I'm in as Pierre and I see that the system is generally in French but all the content here on the lemur page is still in English, which is not what we want. So as Pierre, who we know is an admin for this page and has permissions to edit these content blocks, all I need to do is come in and translate these different managed content blocks into the desired language, in this case, French. Okay, now that it's translated, I'll click Submit, and I see it changed here for Pierre. And now this is actually saved as the French translation because Pierre was logged in under a French language session. So now if I go back and log in again as Elizabeth, even though Pierre sees French here, I should still see the English translation for Elizabeth or anyone else under an English user session. Let's check it out. Okay, logged in as Elizabeth again. I'll just refresh this page and we'll see my session has changed to English throughout the platform and also on our managed content blocks. So easy as that, I can send this page to my various users around the world, all the places where I want my lemur page to be accessible, have those users in their foreign language session, come in and click the icons, translate the, the information that is there, and instantly my portal page is now globalized. We think this is very powerful. Now not only is it easier to build rich content pages in a WYSIWYG editor, we can also delegate the management of the content on those pages to users in our organization who are better qualified to do so. And not only that, we can delegate the administration of that to users around the globe so that our pages are continually updated and internationalized. Um, we know this has been very useful for us as we spin up our new Lemur business unit, and we're excited to see what you, the customers, do with this as well. Thanks a lot, and we'll talk to you again soon.